I'm Dean, and I'm here to answer some of your questions. I've got a lovely little tablet here, and it's got uh, some very popular questions that people ask me occasionally. So let's let's settle the score. Let's answer some of these. Um, first question we have here: We've seen you around Ireland for quite for quite a bit now. Indeed, do you have any plans to step into the political game? Um, I'll be absolutely honest. Yes, I do. Uh, probably not for a year though. Um, I've said this to Sigpatic many times, and I've said this to people who sort of ask me to get involved in Irish politics, which is, give it a year. I want to do things at RTA. Uh, there's a lot of things in the broadcasting world that I haven't uh, been able to do yet. And uh, I want to do I want to do Dean's In, which is the sort of program I get to myself. I want to do On Air, which is the radio show. A- among many other things, I just want to do a lot of broadcasting before I... Um, throw myself into the dollar and and sort of uh, get involved in Irish politics. Um, I need to understand the Irish community before I start writing laws and such uh, for the Irish people. So, uh, short answer, uh, yes, eventually. Uh, Give it a year, though. Don't don't get too optimistic. Um, We have a second question here. Uh, You left the UK and was removed from your position as Prime Minister. Ooh, tell me about it. Uh, explain to us how that felt at the time. Uh, I'm going to be honest, it felt a bit... Uh, it felt awful, I'm going to be honest. Um, there's nothing worse than fighting like a very sort of... Um, a well-thought election, and then doing like two month, two weeks sorry, in the job, and uh, proceeding to get removed from your position because you didn't like the... Uh, King, who pretty much forced himself into that position because group staff didn't like the previous one because of some issues that happened in the uh, armed forces. So, yeah, it felt a bit bad, but I think it was a necessary evil, um, to be honest, that um, that I left that job. I couldn't have stayed anyway. I didn't like Robert. I don't, I don't like the group management. I don't like many of the people that are in powerful positions in the sort of British community anymore so it was gonna happen i was gonna leave at some point i think it was a good thing that i got sort of kicked out because i would have left eventually uh got a lovely third question here uh since leaving the uk you've formed the british indian overseas uh so ocean territory group how do you feel about that do you have long-term uh plans for it uh short answer kind of um as it, the original plan was for Biot to essentially replace the UK on the world stage, so Biot becomes the new UK. Um, I need to speak to Gendelorf about that personally, but um, we'll have a bit more conversations with him about where that stands. But um, for the most part, it's a community for sort of the former British Armed Forces people who didn't like UK group management. You know, have a bit more fun in while still being related to the Roe Nation community. That's why it exists. That's why Biot is a thing. I'm there to just sort of help them along with it on the political and sort of foreign affairs side of it. So I'm not involved on the military side. Um, If you do want to join the British Armed Forces of uh, Biot, then um, feel free to. It's uh, it's quite nice. The Royal Navy side especially is quite nice. Um, Fourth question. Do you feel that your actions following being sacked as Prime Minister has any impact on the UK? I mean, I'll put it like I'll put it lightly to people. A lot of the active people and people who actually cared about the British Armed Forces left. Um, a lot of the group staff people, like Connor and Tom, who actually cared about reforming the group, are also gone. People like me are gone. A lot of people who actually cared about the political side and trying to make it relevant are gone. Um, the only people that are really left there are the people who are out for jobs for the sake of the title not for the actual good of the community so um 
I think in the long term it'll have an impact. I don't again in the short term there won't be much of an impact. They'll replace people like me, they'll replace people like Tom and Connor, but in the end they're just gonna end up like a Noosa or like Nighting Glads, United States of America. They'll just end up like them and that's um it's inevitable at this point. Give them about like a year or two and you know, it will end up like that. Uh we have a fifth question. Do you have any regrets with leaving the UK? That's a good question. I uh, there are parts of me that regret it, but as I sort of said earlier, it's um, it's a case of I wasn't going to last there anyway. I think as soon as Torm got overthrown, and I think as soon as he got replaced by Robert out of nowhere, that that kind of just did it for me. It was proof that nothing I do mattered. Uh, before then, I kind of held out on the thought that what I'm doing in parliament, what I'm doing in government and for the wider community, it mattered. You know, it, it helped people have a better experience. But as soon as that happened, it just sort of solidified in my mind that no, nah, it doesn't matter because a bunch of idiots at the top of the group will just completely undo it because it affects their mate. And, you know, if it if it impacts or negatively impacts rather a mate of theirs who they play games with all day, then oh no 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 you can't do that. Um, that's why half the British Armed Forces left. So I, I kind of regret it, but I also see you know I do just tell myself it was going to happen. Like as soon as Quentin and Jamie acted like the biggest idiots on the planet, it was going to happen. And um, with that in mind, it's not something I. I can't regret it when I consider that. I can't really regret it. Um, sixth and final question I think we have here. Um, what are your plans? It's a lovely question. Do you, have, do you hope to one day return to UK politics or do you want to continue in Ireland or elsewhere? This is probably going to be the longest answer of them all. I'm going to take my time here. Um, I don't think I'll ever return to the UK. Uh, they'd have to change owners, first of all. They'd have to get rid of Jamie and Quentin, which is just never going to happen. They treat the UK as their own playground. And so there's Ryan Mountbatten, who's the reason this all happened. So there's no way that's ever going to happen. They're not going to ever give up the group. Um, so I don't see myself ever returning, because as long as they're there, I I'm not returning. It's as simple as that, really. Um, which brings me, I guess, to the latter part of the question, which is um, continuing in Ireland. I fully intend to continue with Ireland. Um, I've changed my name again. Um, I've sort of changed it. I mean, it's still called Dean. Uh, much to probably Welsh's uh, charade, I guess. Um, but I, I'm keeping Dean as a name. But I've changed my Roblox name to fit with the Irish community a bit more. Uh, I do intend to actually do stuff there. I intend to contribute. And the main way I want to do that is via RTE. Because RTU, at the end of the day, it's, it's broadcasting, it's radio, it's television. That's sort of the thing that I wanted to do after politics. And seeing as I don't attach myself to Irish politics that much, or at least I don't want to get involved in it now, I think RTU is like the best fit for me, really. I want to do you know, television shows, I want to do radio shows, I want to do broadcasts, live streams. There's a lot of things I sort of want to do, and um, I think RTU is going to be the best sort of it's going to be the place where I'm going to be able to do that. And, um, you know, I love the Irish community. I think it's lovely. I love all the people there, really. Um, it's much more of a home than I think the UK could have ever provided. Um, they're much nicer. I'll say that much. Um, they're also less toxic. So I think Ireland is a very enjoyable place. I can't wait to do broadcasts and live streams and um, streams and just television shows and all that sort i can't wait to do that um i guess i'll be giving warner media a big competition probably in the future which is a good thing competition is good because then it means that the people get lots more broadcasts and ultimately that's good for ireland and whatever is good for ireland is is good for me so uh those are my plans really for the near future um i think that's all the questions so um i'm probably gonna go down another pint now um Apparently Ireland has some very good pubs, so um, I'm going to go get on with that. <clears throat>